What's up, spectators? Welcome back to an episode of Ace Attorney 6. Now, this week, I will be gone once again for a few days, so we should be able to expect episodes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just like last week. So anyways, we're probably pretty close to finishing up this case and the game, but we do have DLC cases left, so there's still going to be more after, eventually. Why are you it? Yes, yes, insolent. Yes, I'm very insolent. Admit it. Only you could have hidden Dirk's clothes after they were used in the murder. And that means you're the one who killed Justice Minister Inga. Insignificant worm. Yes, yes. You dare accuse me, the ruler of Kurain. Do not think for one moment that such impudence will be tolerated. I'm afraid such arguments are invalid here in the Sacred Hall, Your Eminence. Because even monarchs aren't above the law. It's the end of the line for you, Queen Garen. Time to come down from that lofty throne and face justice. He he he. Me face justice? Surely you jest. You're in no position to force my hand, lawyer. Oh. Surely you haven't forgotten about the Defense Culpability Act. Those who would support criminals will be deemed just as guilty. In short, should I be convicted of murdering my husband? Your dear brother who delivered false testimony in my defense? shall also be found guilty. That can't be. Can it? By delivering false testimony in the course of protecting a guilty party. He would certainly be judged by this court as having supported a criminal. And the Defense Culpability Act would most definitely come into play. But that law is so raw that anyone could be convicted under it. When it comes to the DC Act, even I'm conflicted, and yet, as it currently stands, it is the law of the land. And as you said earlier, no one is above the law. Of all the absurd things I've seen, this law really takes the cake. Now what? What can we even do at this point? You need not look so forlorn. Dirk has been cleared of all charges. So let us leave all thoughts of the real killer and revolution in the past where it belongs. She wants us to just let her off scot-free. And yet, I don't see any other choice. We cannot yield to her here, Apollo. If it will move the revolution forward, I will gladly face the DC Act. Now do it! Accuse Queen Garen of the crime she's committed. What you speak of is not revolution. Our kingdom will not function without its sovereign. And Rafa cannot ascend to the throne, for she is as yet incapable of channeling spirits. Thus, to accuse me is to wish destruction upon our fair kingdom, you terrorist. If you'd still insist on accusing me, then as ruling sovereign of Kurain, I proclaim the following. All who imperil the crown, no matter the reason, shall be subject to immediate execution upon the Queen's orders. Do you still not comprehend? Then let me be clear, for the sake of this kingdom's future, and in accordance with the laws of Kurain, I command that you be put to death at once. Oh, well, okay then, I guess that's that. Isn't this going a bit too far? Why is the Garen Royal Guard? They were on standby in case of an attack by foolishly optimistic terrorists. 
Now, if you continue to oppose me, the very embodiment of the law, then under my regal authority, you shall all be put to death. <laughs> Objection! Oh, come on, this is insane, even for you. You can't possibly get away with something like this. This is a court of law, you can't just order our execution without due process. Hold it! Now look, Apollo, truth and due process are certainly important. But so is your life, so think before you speak again. But! Please, Apollo, do not make this any worse than it already is. I can't lose you to the Twilight Realm, too. What am I supposed to do? How do I win against an opponent that can rewrite the law she sees fit? How can I ever bring her to justice? By killing her. Is this really how it all ends? I keep getting this warning on my recording. I'm recorder. Getting a little worried this video's gonna come out funky. Let me check something. Hold on. Let me double check. Well, I guess we'll find out. It's time to cease this insanity. What do I do? Should I accuse? I know what I have to do. Mr. Wright, you know that saying you're constantly reminding me and Athena of? That was a long, stupidly worded question. The worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. You never fail to surprise me, Apollo. And the Yuda. You know that creed we've known ever since we were kids. Don't say it. A dragon. No, he said it. Ah. Uh... They're not merely words. They are what's carried us this far. So now it's time to honor these words and the memories of the ones who gave them to us. I couldn't agree with you more, Apollo. Those words are more important to me than you know. And if there's any time to remember them, it's now. It would seem, Apollo, that not one but two auspicious creatures dwell deep within you. A fierce dragon and a virtuous phoenix that shall scatter the clouds hiding the heavens. I shall join you in your death-defying bluff. I think I finally understand what those words really mean. And the resolve they embody. Are you smiling, even in the face of certain doom? Is there no end to your defiance? Unfortunately for you, no. I won't let fear or even the law force me to abandon the pursuit of truth. Because there is another saying in my country, the truth will set you free. Indeed, that is precisely what Dirk sought to do this trial. He wished for us to break free from a certain despicable spider's immobilizing silk threads. Just say spider's web. Immobilizing silk threads! We won't be intimidated by unjust laws or given to fear. Abandoning the truth like that is just not a part of my playbook. There's only one path before us, revolution. Whole lot of talk going on right now and not a lot doing. The time to make Dirk's dream a reality is upon us. Your eminence, if you are the law here in Kurain, then your very existence is wrong. Does your desperate bleeding know no end? No, no. I know it's a bit late to ask, but what's the plan? If Garen is going to execute us on the spot under the Defense Culpability Act, and the law itself derives its power from the authority of the Crown, then there's only one thing to do. We dethrone her, right here, right now. But how? It's not like we have a lot of time to come up with a way to do it, either. I doubt she'll allow you to perform another cross-examination while we think. Don't worry, I'll come up with something. We'll be fine. We can't give up. We have to keep on fighting to the- Yes, ah, oh, so cliche. We can't allow these broken trials to go on. It's time to make things right. Then make them right! Stop talking about it, just do it! If I accuse Garen, Yuta will be subject to the Defense Culpability Act, which means he'll be put to death in accordance with the law. So the only way out of this is to dethrone Garen right now. Could this be the key to dethroning Garen?
Dirk was convinced that the orb is the key to the revolution and Kurain's future. In light of Garen's obsession with the orb, it makes a large amount of sense. She probably doesn't want anyone using it to gain spiritual powers and rights to the throne. Inga definitely tried to do just that, but that's where it starts to fall apart. Inga couldn't have channeled the Founder even after abducting Miss Fey, after all... Oh, okay. Only the Queen can channel spirits, but Inga was going to use Miss Fey to channel the Founder. So his plan was to depend on having access to the Queen's power. In that case... Yeah, but Maya knew the name, so... But, and Inga had Maya, so what's the... okay. The name of the Founder is only known to those who become Queen. Not true, because Maya had the scroll that had her name on it. That means the only people who currently know her name are Garen and Amara. So even if someone else had the orb, they wouldn't be able to channel the Founder. So that begs the question, why is Garen so fixated on the orb? Okay, let's not overthink this. Garen is obsessed with the orb because... It's hard to believe, but... If she wants spiritual power, does that mean Garen can't channel spirits? That would explain why she had a mom perform the rite of channeling. Is that why she left a let Amar live? to stand in for her when the time came to channel spirits. So if Garen can't channel spirits... Garen's DCA was established under the Crown's authority, but if she has no claim to the throne, then the DC Act would become null and void. Not just the DC Act. All the insane law she's enacted would be swept away in one fell swoop. One swell poop. You claim the authority of the crown? You of all people. That's a good one. Look how high and mighty he got all of a sudden. Have you truly lost it? Indeed, I'd have the defense explain himself at once. It's easy, Your Majesty. Why is Queen Garen so obsessed with the Founder's Orb? Why did she let Queen Amara live? And why was she having her mercifulness perform the rite of channeling in her place? The answers to these three questions point to a single conclusion. A fact that will shake this kingdom to its very core! I still don't get it, Apollo! Your Eminence, I have just one question for you and please be honest. Please be honest. You can't actually channel spirits, can you? What? You believe the Queen's not capable of commuting with the dead? The defense will explain himself at once. In Kurain, the ability to channel spirits is an absolute requirement for a would-be Queen. But, Your Eminence, if you are incapable of doing that, then you'd have no claim to the throne. Not only that, but every law you pass would be rendered null and void. And you, the Garen Royal Guard. You seem to be rather enamored with the Queen's supposed spiritual power. But what if she had none? What if she were just an ordinary person, a pretender to the throne? That's crazy talk! Impossible! Everyone knows only spirit mediums can become the Queen! Such blasphemy! On what grounds do you make such a defamatory claim? Ba -ba. Queen Garen, if you think I'm just about to defame you, then prove it. Prove it using this piece of evidence you want so badly. Oops. Take that! All the conditions for summoning the Founder should be in place. With the orb, we know that the Founder- what the Founder looks like, and as Queen, you should know the Founder's name. Now, if you would, Your Eminence. Please show us the great spiritual power you bear as Grand Priestess of Kurain. To witness her eminence's great power with our own eyes! The Holy Mother will appear before us! Oh, great something miracles! Praise be your eminence, may your mighty spiritual power show us the way! Enough, I say, you mindless cretins! 
Can it be that you cannot? No, I... Want a lawyer! Summon one at once! Objection! Aren't you forgetting something? There aren't any lawyers left in Kurai. You can thank your DCA for that. Your Eminence, please give us a glimpse of your magnificent spiritual power. Summon her holiness so she may guide us. I've heard enough from you. Out of my sight! If you truly are capable of channeling spirits, then get on with it already, your eminence. You sneaky, underhanded, wretch of a lawyer. That reminds me. You said something to this effect earlier. It's time to cease this insanity. What a s dumb thing to quote. Don't you feel stupid for saying that now? Don't you feel stupid for saying that now, Apollo? Of all the things she has said, I can think of nothing more ludicrous. Apollo, teach this deceitful, putrid queen a lesson she won't soon forget. Gladly, because it really is time to cease this insanity. Your reign of terror ends here! Woo! It's the Matrix! Damn, why can't I finger point like that? Very well. Demonstrating my facility as spirit medium something something. It just skipped ahead. Behold! The magnificent power to commune with the dead. Oh, your eminence! Oh, great spirit of the founder who dwells in the twilight realm. Heed the secret covenant of the orb. And appear here before us. Here it comes! What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Ah! ah, ah, ah. Oh, Spirit of the Founder, gracious for your sake, our presence, time is now, I beseech you! Appear before us! Keep my call, Founder, please! Harn! Rug! Very impressive. What an awkward situation. No, wait! I was just warming up! The right actually starts from now! Look! I get the water all dirty. <laughs> Prosecutor Sadmati, how is her eminence? It seems she now believes that she herself is the Holy Mother. I see. But her attempt at spirit channeling failed, did it not? Sadly, she seems unable to accept the facts. I fear it will be quite a challenge to question her later. And what, if I may ask, was her motive? I understand that she killed Minister Inga in order to prevent his coup. But what of her attempt to assassinate Queen Amara 23 years ago? To become queen herself? Maybe she just craved power and attention. She likely developed a psychological complex from her inability to channel spirits. That is why she kept Queen Amara alive to perform the rite of channeling for her. In that way, it would seem as if she had great spiritual power. In short, she built a cult of personality upon fear and lies. Then again, do not all tyrants. So then, she never really intended to kill Amara, huh? What I don't understand is why Queen Amara even listened to Garen in the first place. Especially 14 years ago, before Rafa was being held hostage. Why would she keep letting the people of Kurain think she was dead? While she kept quietly performing the rite of channeling for Garen. My mother is a gentle soul by nature, and loves her sister dearly. So when Garen told her to hide because Dirk was out to kill her, she believed it. What's more, she did not wish to tarnish the name of her beloved sister. 
That is why she acquiesced to obediently to, so obediently to Garen's request to keep channeling for her. Until she fled with Dirk and was told the truth, that is. So that's what happened. And since Rafa was being held captive, I imagine Amara had no choice but to help cover up the truth behind Inga's murder. Living secretly as Rafa's servant, Nana, no doubt only deep in her love for her daughter, she'd do anything to keep her safe. All the more reason to hide the painful truth from her. Well, that was the case for the ages. Prosecutor Sadmati has been cleared of all suspicion in the murder of Minister Inga, as has Mr. Dirk Sadmati in the assassination attempt on Queen Amara. Now then, I think it's high time I handed down my verdict on Dirk and Nayuda. Dirk, I hope you're watching. I proved your innocence. Now you're just smiling again. And that revolution you've always dreamed of is finally happening. With this, may I finally say, this court is adjourned. Way to go, Apollo! I was on the edge of my seat when those guards stormed the courtroom. That was a shocker, all right. Can't imagine anything like that happening back home. I know, right? I was ready to go on down there and teach them a lesson myself. I was barely able to hold her back. Hold me back? You were about to go ballistic after a while there, Athena. Yeah, you could've. You could've channeled Bruce Lee's spirit or something. Yeah, well, I was thinking about helping you smack a few of them down, to be honest. Remind me to never say or do anything to deserve a Maya Athena double suplex. You did a fine job out there today, Apollo. Thanks for all the great advice, Mr. Wright. It was all you. That perseverance and never say die attitude you showed me was impressive. I actually learned a thing or two myself. From me? That's a laugh. There were any number of times where I wouldn't have blamed you for giving up. But you stuck it out to the end and came away triumphant. By sheer force of will, and inner strength forged in countless trials, you overcame the most desperate and hopeless situations I've ever seen. I don't know about all that. I mean it. You've really come a long way, Apollo. I have nothing but respect for your abilities as an attorney. Aren't you exaggerating just a little bit, Mr. Wright? You did it, Apollo. You finally won his seal of approval. But what about me, Nick? My channeling's come a long way, too. After all, I was deemed worthy enough to be used in two major crimes already. Yeah, and two major chances for me to become someone for you to channel next. Honestly, I couldn't have done this without the support of each and every person here. Mr. Wright, Athena, Niyuta, and of course, Dirk. That was pretty cool, Polly. Trucy! What are you doing here? It's magic! I'm afraid she employed the old let's stow away in Mr. Edgeworth's suitcase trick. Though it certainly explained why my suitcase was so heavy. Tell me you at least noticed it was heavier than usual. Trucy? Do you even have a passport? My magic panties are an extra-dimensional space. It's like a mini-universe in there. I can produce a passport at the drop of my hat. Right. Maybe something in this world are better left a mystery. I don't... I think... Ah, never mind. Hornhead, barbed head. I am forever in your debt for what you've accomplished in this Hall of Justice. Without your presence, I may have never changed as I have this day. It's pathetic, I know. 
That's where you're wrong, your benevolence. It was you who changed yourself. Only you could choose to defy Garen. And that decision was yours and yours alone. That's right. All we did was present you with an opportunity. And you made made use of it with gusto. This victory is yours, your benevolence. You should be proud of yourself. I see. So I am worthy of my title after all. Ha 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 ha! I shall work to heal our kingdom so that it may know peace and prosperity once more. She sure bounced back quick. So, your benevolence, I take it you learned the truth of your origins. That you are the daughter of Dirk and Queen Amara. Yes, my mother, I mean, her eminence, told me. She said it was a part of my disciplining. If you can call it that. It sounds more like blackmail. Keep quiet or I'll tell everyone you're the daughter of a criminal. My mother was so insufferable. Or should I say, my former mother. Sounds like there was no love lost there. But you cleared Dirk's name. My true father will no longer be known as a criminal. Therefore, I have nothing more to fear. So what's next for the kingdom of Kurai? I mean, you lost your queen, so... Her benevolence, Princess Rafa, will ascend to the throne. Deyuda. But she can't channel spirits yet, right? Indeed, which is why I'll act as regent on her behalf. Isn't that convenient, king? Until the day she comes into her own. Then again, she is... He is the... I was gonna say, he's the daughter. He is the son of all that royalty. Yes, your help will be greatly appreciated, Prosecutor Saad. Big... Bro! Nanako! Buh! Is she going to say what I think she is? What are you looking at, you horn-headed income poop? In any event, I'll be assisted by Niyuta and Queen Amara for the time being. Our country offers consul to the rulers of neighboring kingdoms through channeling. It is a duty I intend to fulfill myself one day. But for now, I'll have Queen Amara assist me in that capacity. So then, she's going to be alright. Yes, it seems the bullet went straight through her without doing any serious damage. That's a relief. You did it, AJ! Thanks to you, both Dirk and Nuyuta beat the charges against him. And you got the revolution rolling to boot. The revolution. I guess you were right to believe in me after all. Yes, sir, there's going to be some major changes around here. The legal system's going to return to its rightful state, like how Dirk always wanted. And the name of Apollo Justice will go down in Kraidi's history. Right. Oh, Nuyuta, before I forget. There was something I wanted to give you before I head back home. You wish to give me something? Yes, as Dirk's birth son, I think you should have this. MY BADGE! <laughs> Take that! This is Dirk's. I have to get back to the States. And I know you're a prosecutor and all. But as the man that's gonna change Kurain, it's only right that you have it. To change Kurain. In Dirk's place. Apollo, I'm afraid I must refuse your gift. Why? There is something I'd like to show you. What's this all of a sudden? Mr. Wright, won't you and your friends please join us? Sure. So why'd you bring us here, Niyuda? Apollo, I want you to stay here in Kurai. But why? We've lost our queen and our kingdom stands at a crossroads. Most of all, we'll need to rebuild our entire legal system. Naturally, that includes the reintroduction of lawyers to the court. You're not asking me to... Yes, I want you to take over this law office. With you as a lawyer and me as a prosecutor, we shall rebuild Kurai's legal system from the ground up. You want me to help you rebuild the legal system? 
That's a lot to take in. Apollo, I cannot do this without you. As a lawyer, you are Dirk's spiritual heir. 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 Oh, I don't know why I struggled on that. And having studied in America, your legal knowledge will be indispensable. This is way out of my league. The revolution is still in its infancy. But it was Dirk's dream to restore the legal system to its rightful state. Will you not help me realize that dream? Come on, AJ! You know it's what Dirk would have wanted. Let's do it together. You must be taken aback by my sudden request, but please give it some thought. Of course. I'm honored that you asked. Still, I have my job back at the Right Anything Agency to consider, too. Don't you worry about that, Apollo. Besides, this is something only you can do. I mean, to be completely honest. Our office would be a bit short on firepower without you around, but hey. Actually... I'm sorry, but I can't get on board with this. I mean, there's still so much I want to learn from you, Apollo. That's right, it won't be the same without you. And everyone back home would really miss you, too. There's no way I can agree to this. Still, if you really want to stay... Athena's right. It won't be easy, but... Apollo, no one but you can make this decision. Know that I'll not question whatever choice you make. Our flight leaves tomorrow morning, Apollo. Think you can make up your mind by then? I'll try. Talk about a difficult decision. Should I go back to the US and continue working at the Right Anything Agency? Or should I stay in Kurain and help Nayuta rebuild the legal system? What's the right thing for me to do? The bus to the airport will be here any minute. I wonder where Apollo is. Do you think he decided to stay here in Kurain? I bet he was up all night thinking. This is a life-changing decision after all. But whatever he decides, I'll have to accept it. I guess this means no more courtroom battles alongside him. Hey guys! I'd know that booming voice anywhere. I made it. Apollo, you're here! Does this mean you're coming home with us? Well, about that. Mr. Wright. I've made up my mind. The moment of truth. He's obviously staying. I still have so many things to learn from you. But! I've decided to stay in Kurain. You're staying? I feel like I have to pick up where Dirk left off. I can't let a sacrifice go to waste. I see. Plus, I want to teach others everything you've taught me about being a lawyer, Mr. Wright. Dirk's roadmap for the future, and your teachings. I believe that these two things will save the people of this kingdom from further unrest. I want to do this. No, I have to do this. I've never felt prouder. Proud to have had such an amazing attorney working under me. But, someday, I'll return to the US. Once the new legal system here is firmly in place, I'll be back. Scout's honor. Will we really see you again, Apollo? Nope! You bet, not that I have any idea how long it'll be. But I promise you this, everyone. I'll keep on learning and growing, and I'll come back to the US an even better lawyer. So don't you forget about me. Of course we won't, Apollo. There will always be a spot waiting for you back at the office. In the meantime, we'll be rooting for you, so knock him dead. You got it, Mr. Wright. 
I'm gonna miss you, Polly. But if this is it, then I'm gonna support your choice all the way. Thanks, Trucy. Good luck with your magic art act. I know you'll do true grammary proud. I'll be cheering for you too, Apollo. But don't think you're the only one with room to grow. The next time we meet, you'll probably won't even recognize me. In other words, game on? You bet, and I'm gonna win. I'm gonna miss you too, Apollo, but I can't wait to see where your new adventure will take you. Well, there's our bus. I guess this is it, Apollo. I'll never forget everything you've done for me, Mr. Wright. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Here's to seeing you back in the U.S. again someday. Until then, you know where to find me. The legacy of those who came before us. Is handed down from parent to child. And from mentor to disciple. Interestingly, we know plenty about Athena's parents from the last game, Apollo from this game and Apollo's game, but nothing about Phoenix's parents. Despite him being in six games. Six, I think. The original three plus Apollo plus these two. The new two. We must never stall or stagnate, but continue to grow and change. All that we've been taught. The beliefs and convictions that have been passed down to us. We must continue to nurture them so we in turn can pass them on to the next generation. Finally, the cutscene! Are you really sure you're okay with him staying, boss? Uh-huh. I always figured he'd leave the nest someday. <sighs> oh! I think they're almost here! Just a little... Got it! Huh? Oh! 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 Uh, uh. Why don't we go and check it out, AJ? I want a cutscene to see Phoenix and... Oh, that's okay. Go on, Mr. Hat, introduce yourself. I'm the amazing Mr. Hat. Nice to meet you. I'll take this opportunity to announce my solo debut. It seems Mr. Hat doesn't want Apollo to leave him in the dust. We're fierce rivals, you know. I can't let him have the spotlight. That's a terrible voice to give him. It's just not the same without Polly, is it? Yeah, I kind of miss him, too. I know. We should go visit him in Karai. After seeing Mr. Justice in action, I got to thinking, what can I do for Kurain? Then it came to me. Tourism, that's what. I'll develop Kurain's tourism industry and bring in more visitors. I'll roll out a night tour center on the Founder's Orb. And make a museum dedicated to the Defiant Dragons. Boy, the ideas just keep on coming. Sure, with... If you got like a million dollars. I want to congratulate you on becoming a forensic investigator, Detective Sky. Thank you, but Prosecutor Sadmati says he has no need of me. Has need, sorry. Starting tomorrow, I'll be working in Karain for a while. Look at it this way, it's sure to be an educational experience. True, plus I can't let that kid show me up either. I'll see what I can do for Karain's revolution. 
Well, challenges have a way of helping people grow. I look forward to our next investigation upon your return. Darn that forehead face! Ever since he revealed the secret behind our teleportation trick, show requests have totally dried up. We'll be out on the street if we don't find some work soon. Maybe we should take Trucy up on her offer. She said we could make her de our debut as magicians at the right editing agency. Shut up, I'm gonna show up someday. And on my own terms! Nothing fires you up like a bit of rivalry. Dryin is just like this child right now, full of life and limitless possibilities. I have faith that Dirk and my darling trust will watch over them both. Ah, have no fear, we'll see Dirk's legacy through to the end. And just for Junior there, here's the secret to being a man among men. Behold the dance pose! Ooh, it sounds like little Feta is saying no thanks. Ah, ah, come on little guy, don't be shy. I've been pulling double duty ever since Apollo left, but that's okay. I'm gonna make Simon recognize me for the awesome lawyer that I am. She's quaking in her boots! I could do it, and I will. Mr. Wright will be calling me his right-hand woman before you know it. Let's do this! How dare you deliver my order in such a sorry state! Don't be mad, Simi. There was a huge party at my shop! But it should still taste fine. Here, try some. Mm -hmm. From my mouth. Mm -hmm. You great big pillock! I just lost my appetite because of you. It's hard to find good help these days. Wouldn't you say, old chum? Who's the old chum? That trial the other day really inspired me. I've even created a Rakugo routine based on Shisho's case. It's a mystery story that I'll keep flipping the audience's thinking on its head. It's called the Scary Udon Noodle. You're giving away too much in the something. Keeping the Tenaido school going is our way of paying penance and repaying our debt to Shisho. And that includes Rakugo training for the kid Owen. With my newfound mobility, even ancient ruins and their fancy schmancy Tomb Raider traps are no match for me! Fire! The university where my father worked is letting me help with the dig. One day I'll discover an unknown ancient civilization and dedicate it to him. Maybe the Azran. <laughs> that private justice had better not be slacking off. I'm gonna be super busy now that I'm the head of the Fey Clan. Don't worry, Mystic Maya, I'll do whatever I can to help. Thanks, Pearly. Our first order of business will be to revolutionize Crane Village. Ooh, I have an idea. How about opening a store where we can buy new outfits like the city girls wear? Well, look who's all grown up now. But I think there are a few more pressing matters to take care of first. You're right. I guess it'll be a while before I get my revolutionary makeover. Mother! Now that you've stopped being Nana, I want a new Nana. Wonder if there'd be anyone willing to serve you in that capacity. You're quite a handful, after all. With a simple wave of your hand, you would have your attire changed, meals prepared, and even your teeth brushed. To think I put such undue burden upon you, a grand priestess of Kurain. Fear not, Rafa, you'll have plenty of time in which to make amends. Oh ho ho, perhaps you could start with one of your famous shoulder rubs.
her benevolence, has taken to calling me Braidhead. Even worse, she trembles and her face turns red when she speaks to me. What have I done to deserve such animosity? While it is true that I am merciless within the Hall of Justice, to be given such a dismissive name is entirely uncalled for. Oh, what am I to do? Perhaps I should consult Apollo about this. How's he doing, Mr. Wright? Great, he's a respectable lawyer in his own right. He even has his own practice called Justice Law Offices. Thank you, this wouldn't have been possible without you. It's Dirk! Dirk's talking! Oh, before I forget! I made a copy of this photo for you. It is so good to see him again. Don't you think it's about time we told them the truth? After all, they've both grown into fine young people now. You're right. Perhaps it's about time they knew. Knew what? Well, I'll obviously keep the, the recording going because you never know what might be at the end of this. Now, the question here is, will I have DLC cases out Wednesday and Friday? And that really depends. I wasn't sure if I'd end the video, uh, end the main game today. But now that I have, if I have the DLC cases already downloaded, then it won't be a problem. I'll have enough time to record those. If I have to download them, I don't think I'll have the time to record for videos Wednesday and Friday. So it re really depends. So we'll see. I wish I could speed this up. Here's there's no way to skip ahead. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So we've done Dual Destinies. We've done all three Edgeworth spin-offs. We've done this. Still haven't had time for the original trilogy. And, oh man, so behind on so many games. I've started games and abandoned them midway, which really I hate doing. Ooh, but... We'll see. We'll see what my schedule will allow me to do. Man, Dual Destinies, I'm pretty sure I used to do 20-minute videos. Meanwhile, in this one, the majority were 30-minute videos. So that's probably why I was able to finish in, you know, 70 videos or however many I finished with instead of the over 100 I did for Dual Destinies. Oh, right, I can't forget the Leighton, Leighton Phoenix Wright crossover. That counts. I'm going to count that as a Leighton game. And... Uh, and a Phoenix Wright game. Sorry, I'm saying that backwards. Whew. Dear Mr. Wright, I can't believe it's already been a few months since I decided to stay. I'm sorry I haven't been good about keeping in touch, but things have been really hectic. Rebuilding a legal system I'm not yet familiar with has been a real challenge. But I'll say it's given me plenty of work to keep me busy.
Have you not given the autopsy report even a cursory glance, Mr. Justice? It's just I have 15 clients on my plate right now. Though I probably shouldn't have accepted it all 15 at the same time. Oh, please. Are you going to help me rebuild Kurain's legal system or not? If you are, we need to move through this case backlog faster. Yeah, I know, but... Besides, those 15 are only the beginning. There are 10 more awaiting your services. I, too, have friends and acquaintances seeking legal representation. And being that you're the only lawyer in the country, I told them to contact you. I estimate it'll only add about 16 clients to your caseload. Now wait just a minute! I've been handing out advertisements for your new office. They read... From legal advice to investigating extra extramarital affairs, even yak milking. For a limited time only, these services and more are free down at Justice Law Offices. I have already received requests from 380 new clients. I'm gonna have to say something, aren't I? I trust you did your course of steel exercises this morning. Well, go on, there's no need to hold back. <laughs> now that you mention it, we have yet to hear you shout today. And I have grown quite drowsy from these tedious proceedings. I could use a loud something to wake me up. Do not disappoint me, Hornhead. There's really only one thing to say at a time like this. It's a word I've said countless times in my career, but only one I'll never tire of. OBJECTION! And... Now it's really the end, right? Illustrations, anime cutscenes, galleries have been unlocked. Please go to the extras DLC to view them, okay? Now, do I have the DLC downloaded already? No, where's the... Hold on. How do you get to it? Revolution. Wait, what about the, um... Huh, well, I guess this is a start, so... Yeah, stay tuned for the next one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!